Hello YouTube! Today I'm going to show you how to empty out one of these standard one pound propane tanks that you might have lying around. Uh, at the end we can talk about why you might want to do that, but let's just get into the process here. So first things first, we give it a shake. And we can feel just a tiny bit of propane left, maybe almost nothing. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a standard propane head on here, little nozzle. And if we turn the light off here and light this thing up, we can see that even on full, there's still just a tiny bit of propane left here. So we're just going to let it burn here for a minute. So yeah, why don't we talk about it? I mean, um, in municipalities, um, more and more they're making it either difficult to dispose of these and or expensive. Uh, whereas if we pull out both of the valves on this, we effectively have just a chunk of metal you can fill it with water and make it totally inert and safe and uh, dispose of it the way you would uh, dispose of any scrap metal. Uh, our recycling place in town here in Ox Mountain Metal will accept propane tanks provided the valves have been removed, whereas other places will either charge or they'll be more difficult to access to get rid of uh, these tanks. So, okay, so, and it's a bit of fun here. Maybe you want to take it apart like I do just out of curiosity's sake. Okay, even with a little bit of propane, this thing could probably burn for quite a while. So what we're going to do is we're going to shut her off here and we're going to use just a little screwdriver like so and just gas it out here and see how much we can get out of this thing. So you can see just a few seconds there and it brought it down to zero. Now you want to be cautious with this kind of thing. Just because it's gassed off, if you leave it like this, uh, propane that has been embedded itself in the metal is going to leach out and in a couple hours, this thing's going to repressurize a little bit and still have almost that same amount of propane in there. So it's still going to be slightly pressurized and a bit of a danger. So, but now that we've just freshly depressurized it, I'm going to show you a little tool that I built here. It's basically a Schrader valve tool like you would use to tighten up the valves on your vehicle, as you can see, about half inch long, but uh, half inch deep is the cut, but it runs thin a little bit longer than a normal one would because these valves on the tanks are sunk in deeper than they would be on a tire. How to make that, I could show you another time is, although there's videos for that around, is uh, just took an old screwdriver and cut the tip off with an angle grinder with a thin grinding bit and ground it down to this. Now if you look at the tip here, it's actually not that, it's not that pretty, uh, but it doesn't have to be. It just, as long as you get those two tips and you might have to grind down the overall profile you can see of this screwdriver because it's a very narrow valve to access here in the tank. So now we're going to take this tool and go in here and it should click in. Let's see. There we go. And we can feel it turning here. There's a bunch of rust coming out. She's turning, turning, turning. All right. All right, and there we go. So that's what the uh, rusted old Schrader valve on this tank looks like. So this is the out pressure valve. So if the tank becomes over pressurized, it's going gonna, it's gonna to open up this way here. The pressure is going to open up this way and release, prevent the tank from if it were to heat up too much, it's going to stop it from exploding. Uh, it's just going to outgas. So, so that's our first valve. And the second valve is a little bit trickier. It's actually got a little 
plastic ring sitting on top there and then there's also a rubber stopper underneath there so to get that out we're going to need sort of a pointy little stabby tool here and an awl and we're going to get in and kind of pry it out here so we're just going to get under there there we go move it around here oh, almost there we go so you can see actually we got both pieces together easy to see there's a soft rubber ring down below and then a hard plastic piece on top that holds it in so I'll put those over here and uh, yeah so now we can use our Schrader tool again and there we go click it in and, oh she's rusty spin her out there all right And there it is. So this is the uh, the valve for repressurizing the tank for filling it up with propane. And it looks pretty much like a standard valve that you'd see in a uh, tire, rubber tire. I don't know if it's exactly the same or close, but looks very similar. So there we have it. Now if we look down, we can see that basically this is... Uh, this is open. I can blow in here and a little bit of propane smell still coming out of there. At this point though I can fill this up with water and just let it sit and it's going to kind of rust itself out and get rid of that last bit of propane and then uh, a couple weeks later or a couple days later whatever uh, it is safe to dispose of as scrap metal provided you run that by your local metal recycler and make sure they're okay with you doing that. All right, thanks.